Hello there. Today on Bachelor on a Budget, we are making a chia seed pudding. I'm sure you've heard of this before. Maybe you've made it, maybe you'll love it, maybe you haven't. I'm gonna show my favorite way to do it. And I love this. This works great as breakfast or dessert. It's actually really good for you. There's actually a tribe called the Tamarara Indians. A rugged region home to a tribe called the Tarahumara. I think I butchered that. But this tribe, they would pretty much fuel themselves on these ancient superfoods. And they would do these crazy runs in the Mexico Copper Canyons, which is like super harsh climate. But they would fuel these very long distance runs on chia seeds. I think it was like an Amazonian like fresca, which would be like chia seeds, water, and lime juice. And I think some agave sh sugar. Terra Humera, I think that's it. There's actually a book about it called Born to Run. And I think that was part of the big like kind of bang of chia seeds. But let's make this awesome dish. It's super simple, you're gonna love it. Let's get started. We're gonna start with two bananas. We're gonna mash those down. I don't think bananas are super traditional in chia seed pudding, but it bulks up the volume, gives you some extra nutrients. Then we will add five tablespoons of chia seeds. And we have one and a half cups of almond milk. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. A couple dashes of cinnamon. And about a quarter teaspoon there. Give that a good mix. Careful, don't spill. You can see I got some chunks in here because I'm a little lazy with my mashing, but you don't have to be. But I don't mind. You can totally put that in the fridge and serve it right out of there, but I'm gonna put it in a couple smaller containers because that's about two servings. Now you can share or just wrap it up and eat it again later. And if it's not sweet enough for you, add your favorite sweetener. I got some coconut sugar. You can use agave, stevia, sugar, sugar, more banana, riper bananas. I got a teaspoon. Why not? Maybe coconut sugar. My bananas weren't the ripest. I transferred it to this so I can serve it. I'm gonna get these into the fridge. We'll let that refrigerate for minimum 20 minutes and you can leave it overnight. It's gonna congeal and get into a nice tapioca kind of pudding. These guys are ready to come out. Let's start topping these off. Got some granola here. Some berries, those were previously frozen, so they're a little mushy. Some apple in there. All of these toppings are completely optional. Put whatever you want. I got some uh, almonds that I've just uh, soaked for a bit to get some of those skin off. And I may as well top those off with some flax seeds. Oh boy, this is good. Look at that pretty thing, come on. And you don't even have to make it so pretty. I'm not gonna make it pretty, I'm just making it for you guys pretty, you know? But it's always gonna be delicious. Look at that. And I cheated, I only had it in for about 30 minutes. You can put it in totally longer. It's like delicious miniature frog eggs just sliding through. Mm. I really like granola on this. And the almonds. I got all this other stuff. Okay, yeah, the berries. Oh, not the floor. Hey, top that off. Look at that. You guys gotta make this. It is seriously super simple. You don't even have to put all these toppings that I did, but man, granola is dope in this. That's a good balance of textures, you know. Nice jelly kind of frog eggs and then crunchy almonds and granola. Well, I hope you like this one. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're gonna put on your toppings. If it's your first time here, love to have you subscribe. And even if you're subscribed, please hit that little alarm notification so you get notified. Cause YouTube doesn't give me a ton of love yet, but you guys do. So hit that like button, share it with your friends. 
send me a thousand dollars and watch some more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.